Bonjour, je suis Katie Hadley, la directrice de le Centre de ressources communautaires de l'Ouest de l'Île. Nous sommes un organisme communautaire à but non locatif qui travaille avec les West de l'Île. Depuis 35 ans, euh, nous offrons un service d'information et de référence. Puis aussi, on favorise le développement de projets répondant aux besoins de la communauté. My experience with the Healthy House tool has been overall a positive experience. I felt that it was a tool that allowed us to have important discussions about different areas of our organization. So the key areas uh, in the assessment, when we marked whether they were healthy or not, uh, then allowed us to build our strategic plan from using that tool. And what was interesting is that it did reveal some discrepancies in the level of knowledge of the organization, how some people perceived some areas being healthy where others perceived it as being unhealthy. So it was a good common point of bringing everyone's uh, thoughts together to help spur the discussion for picking our strategic directions. Um, so we found that to be very helpful and we reused the tool recently to once again do another assessment of what was working and not. However, the challenge this time we found was that we identified different areas that needed work, um, but then there was a lot of them. So we wanted to figure out as an organization how we could prioritize which part of our healthy house needed to be fixed or worked on before we went into the other areas. For example, there were some questions for our organization about foundational uh, elements for mission, vision, some elements like that, that we wanted to do some clarification work on before we could build the other parts of our house. For example, our programming or which people we needed in place. We really needed to understand our foundation. So the tool that we tried to create to help with choosing the strategic directions was a priority grid um, to figure out which of all these elements we identified as needing work, uh, how we could focus on the, some for the next three to four years. Uh, so we created a tool to help us with strategic direction choices, but we also created it to use as a programming tool. So it had two functions. So one was to help us go through any strategic goals that we felt and to find out like, is it really going to um, have the impact that we need to move forward and grow as an organization. So for example, foundational ones were a priority because if your foundation is rocky or there's some question or unclarity there, it's hard to keep building on top of that. So we ran it through our priority grid to be like, okay, that's some work that we need to do. Uh, we also used the tool, as I said, in the programming because we wanted to make sure that in our healthy house as an organization, we had all the right structures to support any new programming or existing programming. What we did is we divided it into sections representing kind of the healthy house model. So we had foundational, environment, funding, people, systems of structure, and then a category of, of impact. But for example, if we were presented with a new project or a new source of funding or an opportunity to incorporate something into the organization to help the discussion around whether it's a right fit for our organization or not and whether we're in a healthy state to be able to support a new project we would run it through the priority grid so we would rate it on a scale of one to four being from disagree to uh, strongly agree for example we would ask questions ourselves like is it relevant to the mission so relating to our foundation uh, in the environment is an is it an expressed community need does it fit the environment Funding, is there funder interest to support uh, this program and will there be a continued source of funding to put this program in place? People, do we currently have the right people? Do we have the skill set or is that an area we're going to have to go develop in our healthy house to be able to support a new program idea or direction? Uh, is there high support for doing this both internally and externally from board members or community partners or community, uh, the community sector? And systems and structures. So is there a high risk in doing this? Are we stable enough? Do we have the system in place to be able to make sure that this is the right integration of a program into our system? And then we go on to looking at the overall impact, which we think uh, is obviously an important element in anything we do as an organization. We want to make sure that it has a positive impact, specifically on vulnerable populations in our case. So we would make sure that we were asking ourselves these questions about whether something we're taking on or a strategic goal 
program decision we're making that it fits in all the areas of our organization that we're able to support its growth or development. Uh, in terms of improvement, we did find, well, for one element that I found was really interesting was that it really highlighted the different levels of knowledge that was key. Um, we, ha we had done the exercise at one point and board members had gone through and identified completely different categories that they felt needed to work on from a staff perception. So there was a discrepancy there, which was interesting to me um, because it also highlighted the need to really understand or respect the in in-depth knowledge of the staff and complement it with the overall vision of the board members to make sure that we both understood both sides and work through those discrepancies together. Um, I also felt a little bit of a limitation was there was a lot of in-between, so it was either unhealthy or healthy in terms of the checklist, and sometimes they were kind of in-between or required more understanding of what it meant because it wasn't a totally dysfunctional area if it was unhealthy, but there were certain things that could be improved upon, so that was a little bit of a difficulty in the discussion point of using the tool. So it allowed us each to have that time to reflect, and then it was very interesting to bring it back to the group, and it spurred a lot of discussion um, because it really focused in on the key areas that we wanted to look at as an organization.